What's up, Microfiles? This is the first of my Patreon reposts onto the nightclub. If you're new here, please go subscribe to my main channel, Mycophilia, and if you would like to see my fruiting videos one month before everyone else, consider subscribing to my Patreon. A free one-week trial is now available, along with dozens of now free fruiting videos. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hello early birds and microfiles. As always, thank you so much for your support. Uh, so today I'm reposting a video that I posted back in June on the original channel and it's called Misting and Watering During Fruiting. Um, I just wanted to make a quick point though. I'm, I'm talking here about uh, unmodified shoe boxes just on their own. That's the type of grow that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a monotub or anything like that which keeps a uh, better microclimate. But also remember that just because you're doing a monotub or a neglect tech technically, uh, if, if the conditions aren't dialed in or there's some environmental factor in your place that you're growing, then uh, it may it is still possible that it'll be dried out and you may need to mist or bottom water or whatever. So, you know, just keep an eye on the surface conditions, basically understand what good surface conditions is and just maintain it. What is going on, everybody? This is Michael File Sage here, and I just wanted to make a quick video a uh, little update on the shoe boxes, right? That's the Cambodia right there. As you can see, Tommy, since this guy is getting a little big, and Tommy's getting some friends. Oh, that's a little stout guy, huh? So, uh, yeah, very interesting, guys. These are both multi-spore, and you can see the difference. I will say, though, in general, I find that uh, the Maz puts out a lot of small fruits, and uh, like a lot of fruits as well as you can see. Uh, well, wow, lots and lots of friggin' pins, guys. I'm very, very um, satisfied with this pin set today. It's looking really good. Um, yeah, guys. And I spawned the uh, the two-year-old grain jar yesterday, and uh, on onto dung, and it's uh, going pretty well. Um, no trick or anything some my, uh, mycelium is starting to colonize. So it's all good stuff, guys. So anyways, I wanted to uh, quickly make a point. Um, this is a pretty heavy pin set here, right? Okay, and this is a pretty sparse pin set as of now. There's lots of pins coming in. You know, they're just going at a different speed, but they will fill up a little more with pins. As you can see, there's lots of little guys coming through, right? So um, I just wanted to make a quick um statement a quick point a uh, quick advice about um misting misting or watering uh when you get to this stage when you have a pin set like this all of these guys require lots and lots of water to grow so all these guys are going to be pulling out water from the substrate right that's why core is so good because it, it's got so much water uh but with a pin set like this you know like a pretty heavy pin set um all of these guys are going to be wanting to take away the water from the sub. So the sub's going to shrink, as you can see, it's starting to shrink, right? On the side. Um, so uh, at this point, what I like to do, especially for the first flush, uh, when it comes in hot and heavy like this, is uh, what I used to do is I used to um, uh, take a syringe like, um, like this, right? I take a syringe. I put it in between and then I would just shoot water in there. Um, there's also lots of people, they would just stick it right into the substrate and um, push it in, that works as well. Uh, I just didn't do it because it just felt wrong to be stabbing my sub. I know it sounds silly, but uh, I like to just put it through from the side and then just inject. And uh, on this, from the side, you could actually see the water fill up, right? Let's say you fill it up, uh, fill up one syringe worth and it goes up to there. And then maybe in an hour it'll be gone because the sub has uh, absorbed it. So I will put a little more then afterwards and just manage like that. But I think um, I think now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mist heavier on this sub. Um, I've noticed that uh, every time I miss th these guys, right? Every time I miss these guys, like I miss them at the same time. Every time I miss them, uh, this dries out way quicker than that. Okay. And which is weird because usually when you have more pins, then there there's a, it, it maintains a humidity better. So it should actually last longer here technically, but because there's so many pins that are wanting the water, uh, it's actually absorbing all that misted water. 
you know, constantly. So that's why、um, it evaporates or it doesn't evaporate, it just sucks it up, you know, compared to this, which is more like evaporation still. And it takes a little, it takes quite a bit longer. At least, it takes at least two times as long, at least two times as long, I've noticed, than this sub、uh, to evaporate. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much what's going on. If you don't give them enough water, then a lot of these pens will just abort. And, and the substrate, the mycelium will focus on a couple, just a couple of mushrooms, right? So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one, guys. Thank、you